This time yesterday, I did not, didn't know if we would have a church. I, I was tempted several times to call you Dustina and say, Dustina, get ready, get ready, get ready. Man, I was going through. I mean, the flu hit me. The flu hit me. I hope it was just a 24-hour thing because I'm up out of bed this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I feel good in my sanctified soul. I praise God for his healing power. I thank God for the power of your prayers and for <coughs> your prayers. Now, I may cough a lot. I'll try not to cough a whole lot, but I'm just thankful to be in the land of the living. I mean, yesterday was rough, a little delirious, a little bit, uh, some fever and this and that, but isn't God good? I wonder, can I get a witness out there who can say God is good? I wonder, can I get a bold, holy, bold soldier who will come on and say, yes, God is good. Praise God. Let's see if we can bring Abel Ka on. He's from the nation of Cameroon. Abel, can you unmute your phone and say hello to us from Cameroon, Central Africa? Praise God. Praise God. Well, Abel, we'll work on getting you to talk to us because we want to hear from you. Abel is one of our students. He's the dean of our new school, the Back to Basic School of Ministry in Cameroon. Uh, before long, he's going to be teaching multitudes of pastors using our curriculum, and God's going to raise up pastors. We'll be going there next year to ordain a lot of people who finish the school. And so we want to welcome Abel Ka from Cameroon, Central Africa. We want to welcome all of you also. We give God the praise for every one of you. And so we thank you that you took time out to come to church today. A lot of people didn't make it to church. Some don't want to go to church, but I thank God. I thank God. The songwriter said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. It's always good to see my son Wes on and on board. And Wes, come on, say hello to us, will you please? Good morning and God bless everyone. I'm looking forward to a great message today and uh, just feeling blessed to be here. Thank the Lord for 2018. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Wes. Thank you for your family. And um, we'll get to see you guys next summer sometime. In the meantime, you keep on, keep on. Let the Lord use you. Praise God. Let's get, get a shout out from Zisla Fragants down in Midlothian, Texas. Zisla, come on, say hello to us, will you please? Hello, good morning, Pastor Carter. God bless and uh, you. good morning. Yeah, God bless you and, and God bless all the other students all over the world that we're going to receive a wonderful uh, reading today, wonderful, you know, words from God and the information. And it's just a wonderful thing to be filled with the Holy Spirit you know, to be filled with God's love. So it's so wonderful we can share God's love together today. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Zisla. And God bless you and your family. Give our love to everyone. And um, may God continue to use you to the praise of his glory. Hallelujah. Let's get a shout out from Terry in Colorado. Terry, can you come on and say hello to us? Hello, Pastor Carter. Hello, family. God bless you, Terry. God bless you. I would like to come in agreement with God is good. Um, I had received a phone call yesterday that my mom suffered a stroke and was in the hospital. And I, was, I immediately put her on the prayer chain with Pastor Paul and the brethren there in the chat room. And prayed the whole way up and praised God the whole way up and when I got there she did not have a stroke. Hallelujah, so, hallelujah. God is good. God, praise God. God is good. Terry, we thank God for his love for you, for your mom, and for all of us. And thank God that she did not have a stroke. Yes. And whatever she had, we believe it's a healing. Amen. Yes. That God will heal her. Thanks, Terry, for sharing that with us. And 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 your faith is so important, Terry. Your faith, 
your faith. God knows your faith. He searches your heart. He knows your faith. And I say this to everybody out there, your faith. Uh, God honors your faith. We thank God. We thank God. Well, what a blessing to Terry's mom and to that family. Praise God. Hey, Ryan, Ryan Trogler, come on and say hello to us, will you, Ryan? Uh, good morning again, Pastor. Good morning, church. Good morning. Yeah, I'm kind of like you, Pastor Carter. I'm just a little under the weather drinking tea and eating some hauls. <laughs> yeah, man, too. Drinking some tea and eating some hauls. That mentholiptus, huh? That peppermint. Oh, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 I bet I bet Miss Tara said drink this, and she didn't ask you. She said drink this with a couple of exclamation points. And, uh, <laughs> yes, Tara, Tara, come on, Tara, come on. Tell me how you treat this man during his time of illness. <laughs> you mean during man flu? You know how that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you ask him, he's not gonna do it, right? That's right. We gotta tell him. You know how I know T uh, Tara. You know how I know you, you. You commanded him. How's that? Because Jackie went to uh, the brick and mortar church. She's there right now, and um, and uh, she before she left, she left a note, and the note is on the counter in the kitchen, and it says, "Eat some soup." Mm -hmm. and add the hot water to what's in the cup, and drink it. She didn't, <laughs> Tara, she didn't say please drink it. She said and drink it. You know? uh -huh. Yeah, that's what we got to do. I know it. I I feel for Jackie. I understand. That's the way you sisters roll with us hard headed men, isn't that's, it? Isn't that right? That's right. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. God bless you all. God bless you. Give our love to Jenna too. Okay. Okay. Hey, just just to clear up the facts, I don't have a man flu. I just have a cold. <laughs> and I'm sure all the ladies in this chat room right now are probably laughing right about now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, man, I tell you, I've got the, I've got the achy bones and the you know, you know when you when you you know you got it when you when your head goes empty and you can't think anything. I mean, that's the way it's me. My head goes empty, Ryan. I gotta read something. Oh, yes, stay, on, on, stay, stay in touch. I gotta read the Word of God because my head goes empty, my body aches, and this. But you know, God is God. God is good. Hallelujah. And these heavy burdens, they won't last. God is gonna make a way. Turn these, uh, turn this midnight into day. And I just praise God. I thank God that we can fellowship today and encourage one another. And I praise God. There's healing in the air. I say, Lord, I've got to get on today because you want to heal somebody. I've got to get online today because you want to save somebody. And so we just praise God. Thanks, Ryan. You keep on being faithful and obey. Obey that little lady now. Obey what she does, what she says, okay? <laughs> yes, sir. And I'm going to agree with you and Terry. Uh, God is good, and he is well, actually he is great. God is awesome, and he's awesome all the time. Praise God. Praise God. Let's bring Jackie Fisher back. She, want, she We want to ask her to tell us about her driving experience. We pray for her that she'd have grace and mercy while driving. Come back on, Jackie Fisher, will you please? Uh, good morning, Pastor Carter, good morning. and good morning, church. I, I bless and praise the Lord for everyone, and I just give thanks and all glory to the Lord for my driving. And everything went super. It was really fun. And I appreciate everybody's prayers. Praise God. Praise God. Now you're ready to drive to California, huh, Jackie? Yes. Uh, I had to put them back on the plane, and that's where they are, California. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, praise God. Well, don't be surprised if you'd be driving coast to coast one of these days. God bless Amen. you and your family. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. God. Let's ask, see if we can bring Abel Carr on. Carr Abel. <laughs> Abel, hi, how are you, Abel? Say hello to us. I see you in the window. Abel is our dean of the uh, Back to Basic School of Ministry in Cameroon and uh, in Bomenda. And he's going to be training our students uh, late, later in 2019 
Abel, can you say hello to us? Just say hi to us. Okay. Okay. Well, later on, later on, when you get your mic system set up, okay, we want you to say hello to us and give us a report of what God is doing in Cameroon in Central Africa. Praise God. Okay, Dustina, let's bring Dustina on. Dustina, can you come on and say hello to us? Hello, Pastor. Hello, Church. Good morning. Dustina, hi there. We are doing good. We are blessed. Trials are washing away. The Lord's restoring everything that's been taken away. And I I need y'all to pray for me. I've been having some dreams, and yesterday I had a vision, so I'm kind of praying on it. And there's, I've been having dreams about stuff that's coming in 2019. So pray for me that the Lord gives me wisdom and understanding on it and what to do with it. I'd appreciate it. Amen. Amen. God give uh, Justina wisdom concerning the dreams that she's having. And, um, Show her when to reveal to others and what to reveal to others. <laughs> and we praise you, Lord, that you give us dreams and visions. But we, we ask not only for Justina, but as you speak to your people, as you speak to your people through your word, through the rhema word, through dreams and visions, that we will receive and hear what thus saith the Lord. And then teach us how to apply what you have given us. And we thank you, Amen. Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 And right. we're praying for you, Pastor, that you feel better too. So, Amen. God bless Praise you. God. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Dustina. I was tempted many times yesterday to say, hey, Dustina, you've got to stand in the gap for me tomorrow. But I said, no, Lord, there's something you want somebody to hear, and uh, I'm going to press. And so we thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Well, we're going to ask, uh, uh, hey, Ryan, if you have your Bible, Ryan, could you read from Philippians, the book of Philippians, chapter 3. We're going to ask Ryan Trogler to read Philippians, chapter 3, verses 13 to 14. Philippians, chapter 3, Ryan, verses 13 to 14. Yeah, just give me one second here till I grab my bubble here. Yeah, go ahead. Is it 13 through 14? 13 and 14. Philippians 3, 13 and 14. 16.59. 16.59. 3, yeah, 3, 13, and 14. Okay. And it says, Brethren, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan, for that word. That is a powerful word, ladies and gentlemen. And as we close out the year 2018 and look forward to the Lord bringing us into 2019, there are many, many people, uh, including you and me and so many others, who are saying, well, I should have done this. I wish <coughs> I wish I had done this in 2019, or I did not accomplish this. I'm sorry I did not do this, but ladies and gentlemen, it is not too late. It is not too late. I see Abel Kala in the window looking in his Bible at Philippians 3, 13 and 14, and uh, he's a great teacher, a mighty teacher. Uh, he's in Central Africa. There at, at this time now, it's 11.23 here in the States. It must be about 9.23 p.m., in Central Africa, must be 9.23 or 10.23, and uh, I thank God. And ladies and gentlemen, this this ministry is, is worldwide. Last week, we had um, David Carter on from Dubai 
today we have Abel Ka on from uh, Central Africa. Soon we have our friend Bishop Elijah from Kenya on. And uh, uh, there will be times when these preachers will be bringing us the Word of God. And so we thank God. We thank God for, uh, for each of you as God is using you. I pray that God will give you great vision in 2019. And not only vision, but dreams. I, I pray, uh, Dustina, that God will give everybody a, a vision of what we can do for the Lord. There is nothing impossible for the Lord. Nothing. And when God puts it on your heart, be like Dustina. Uh, she will tell you, I'm going to wait on the Lord now to show me what to do with this vision he gave me. I'm going to wait on the Lord to show me what to do with this word he's given me. Abel Kyle has a vision to train uh, hundreds of pastors in Cameroon. And so he and I talked, and I said, Abel, I will send you the textbooks, and, uh, and, and, and you take the textbooks, and, and you prepare them for the students. There's one of the textbooks. And I said, now you take the textbook, make copies of it, make copies of it for the people there, and recruit the students. And uh, charge them a little something, charge them so you have some income coming in for the school. And then train them. And then uh, one year from now, we'll come, Jackie and I, we'll come to Cameroon. We will ordain those whom you have uh, ready for ordination. We'll come to uh, Cameroon, the Lord willing, ordain new ministers for the gospel. We might even bring Jackie Fisher with us and Zizla and Duxina and Jeep and Wes. And uh, I'm always asking Wes to go to Africa with me. Maybe my son can go along. Ryan Trogler. And so back to Basics Ministries. We will see you sometime in 2020, Able Cobb. So you continue your studies and you get the people together. Meet with them regularly. Make sure they do their homework. You stay in touch with me. I will teach you what I know. And, and I have confidence in the Lord using you, Abel Cobb to the praise of his glory. That's the way we roll. That's the way we roll in Kenya. That's the way we roll in Midlothian, Texas. When God raises Zisla up and says, Zisla, this is what I want you to do, we will support her. Dustina, we will support her. Uh, Jackie Fisher, we will support her. Ryan and Tara, we will support you. Jeep, we will support you. Wes, we will support you. And all the people listening in to the, the, the recording, we've got hundreds of people who listen into our recordings every Sunday, and we will support you to the best of our ability. This is not a, 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 a very profitable ministry as far as money is concerned because we don't ask people for money. Abel, we do not ask people for money in this ministry. We accept donations. We don't ask them. But as you minister in Cameroon, and, and we know that many of the pastors you will be teaching would be poor. I've met a lot of them. When I was there 10 years ago, they asked me to go back to the States and prepare some training for them. Well, now the training has come. It's taken 10 years, but God has raised up a man in Cameroon to teach the pastors, and the pastors can go forth preaching the gospel. And so God has not forgotten Cameroon. God has not forgotten you, Terry. He's not forgotten you, Wes. He's not, not forgotten you, Dustina. He's not forgotten you, Jackie Fisher. He, he has a plan, and he will bring forth his plan. I want to tell you to be faithful. Okay, so the scripture that Ryan read was from um, Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 to 14. He read the following. Brethren, I count not myself to, app to have apprehended. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching for those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. As we look back on this year, my friends, we have had victories and we have suffered defeats. We have had uh, victories and we have seen frustrations. We've had victories, and we've seen uh, disappointments. And, and, but God is still on the throne. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Some of us have suffered sickness. Some of us have lost loved ones. There are people who have lost jobs. 
uh, uh, some have had to go into rehabilitation, some have had to go through lifetime changes, but God is still on the throne. God continues to stretch forth his mighty hand of love upon us. He promised never to leave us nor forsake us. Jesus said, I will in no wise cast out any that the Father has given unto me. So you may say, well, why have I suffered so many difficulties in 2018? Well, look at the flip side. Uh, why did I get so many blessings during 2018? We have been blessed and we've suffered difficulties. We've been blessed and we've suffered challenges. But we thank God. We thank God. Father, God bless all of your people as we go forth today. We praise you. We give you the glory and the honor. Holy Spirit, rise up in us like rivers of living water. Remember your people. Remember their works and labor of love. Lord, you said you're not unrighteous to forget our works and labor of love. And so we bless you and we thank you and we honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. And so uh, we want to use this message um, if there were, if I could use two messages, one would be, I feel like going on. Ryan, I feel like going on. <laughs> or, uh, uh, I, I would use this message, I feel like going on. Uh, then, um, I, I would use another message, I have not arrived, but. I have not arrived, but. When Paul says, brethren, I have not apprehended. I count not myself to have apprehended. He is saying, brethren, I have not arrived. I have not yet arrived. I thought I'd make it to the top in 2018, but I have not arrived. I thought I'd uh, uh, be successful in building the ministry in 2018, but we have not arrived. We've had some setbacks. We've had some difficulties. Uh, many of you have had to deal with sickness. Uh, sickness in your household, sickness in your family. Many of you have had to use all of your worldly funds to pay medical bills or expenses. So, but do not be discouraged. Do not be discouraged, my friends, because the Lord is on the throne. God knows uh, your works and labor of love in Texas, Zizla. He knows what you have done in Colorado, Jeep. He knows uh, 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 your labor and love, Abel Carr. He knows David Carter in Dubai, your work and labor of love. He knows Annika uh, Martinson in Sweden. God knows your labor and works of love, and he has not forgotten you. He knows your works and labor of love, uh, 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 Bishop Elijah. He knows your work and labor of love, Bishop uh uh, Davis in Jamaica. He knows your work and labor of love, Mark Moyer in Lancaster County. He knows your work and labor of love, Gus Rowan. Paul Begley and Heidi Begley, God knows your work and labor of love. Mark and Cindy Wolverton, God knows your work and labor of love. Cats, he knows your work and la of labor and love. So do not be discouraged. <coughs> Satan will try to discourage you, but look at God. Look at God. Ladies and gentlemen, I did not miss a meal in 2018. The only time I did not eat was when I chose not to eat. God put food on the table every day. That's my testimony. We did not miss a meal in 2018. And I, when I look at Dustina's uh, uh, Facebook page, Dustina and the Branham family have not missed a meal in a long time. They've had some tough times, but God kept them eating good in the neighborhood. They're eating good in the neighborhood. And so God is faithful. And when you put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, that meant that no longer are you in charge of your life. God has the responsibility to take good care of you. He will take good care of you as you abide faithful in him. But you know, that old devil is always trying to pop up, trying to separate us from the love of Jesus Christ. And so the devil will try every trick in the book. He will lie. He will cause your relatives to hate on you. He, he even calls your spouse 
to rise up and war, declare war on you. He had declared people in the church, uh, have them declare war against you. The devil is busy in separating and dividing to try to divide God's people. But do not let the devil divide you <clears throat> from the people of God. There are many people who should be on the online church right now. There are people sitting up in their homes. They are sick as dogs. They, some of them don't know if they're going to make it till tomorrow. But some of them are too stubborn, too stubborn to click on the emails I send them and get on the online church. Not that the online church is a great big thing, but it's an extension of the church. It's a way that God is trying to reach people. God is trying to reach people through technology. And Abel, take a note of this in, in Cameroon. God wants to use technology to go where the brick and mortar church cannot go. God can use technology to go where preachers cannot go, to go where pastors cannot go, to go where the deacons cannot go, to go where the missionaries cannot go. God can use the iPhone the cell phone, the, the computer, to reach people in far off places who cannot receive pastors, who cannot go to churches. There are people who cannot make it to church. There are people who are sick. There are people who are crippled. They are laid up in bed. And, and ladies and gentlemen, that is why we have introduced the online church to reach out to them, to let them know God loves you. And if we can just stand in the gap, for people. If we can just stand in the gap until they get it together, if we can stand in the gap for people who cannot go to church, and if they would just listen to these messages and fellowship with us, we have a wonderful church family. This is a wonderful church family. We've got people from Colorado, Idaho, Texas, uh, uh, Washington, D.C., Maryland, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Florida, all over the place. We've got our people who make up this online church, and they love one another. And they come to the support of one another. That's what the church ought to be doing. And so what we're seeing is this. In not only this country, but in Cameroon and in other countries, people are stuck on tradition. People are stuck on tradition. There are people who, who will not. They're, 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 I'm not calling this into existence, but I'm just telling it like it is. There are people who will not uh, access the online church because it's not a brick-and-mortar church. It, they don't have a building. We don't have a building. Uh, we don't have a choir. We don't have ushers. We don't have a, a bishop. We don't have this and that. But, ladies and gentlemen, we have life. We have life. We have Jesus. Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to be where there is life. I don't want to be going into a dead church and to keep going back to a dead church, hearing dead messages, hearing dead sermons, where there's no anointing of the Holy Spirit. I want to go where there's life, and there's life in this ministry. There's life in this online church. There's life in the online church that Abel Ka will develop in Cameroon. There's life in what uh, David Carter is doing in Dubai. There's life in what Paul Bakley is doing in the United States. There's life in, in what uh, uh, Gus Roman is doing in Philadelphia. There's life in what Mark Moyer is doing in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. There's life in what Gene Bratton is doing in Wilmington, Delaware. Jesus said, I'm come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. So why not? <coughs> why not tune in to an online church and hear the word of life? Why cut yourself off? Why cut your family off? Because this is not traditional. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Paul said, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and stretching for those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of Christ Jesus. I pray, it is my prayer, church, that people who are sick and shut in and who have no access to a life-changing sermon, no access to life-changing ministry, 
that when they will come on to the online church. I pray, it is my prayer, that they will forget the things which are behind, all the tradition, all the traditional stuff that people say, all the nonsense that people do as they uh, try to put, put down the online church. Ladies and gentlemen, there's only one church. That's the body of Jesus Christ. And Jesus is using people in brick-and-mortar settings, and he's using people on the Internet or with the cell phone to reach people with his love. And so people need to stop acting stupid. Yes, that's a good word. Stop acting stupid. Why sit up and be sick and dying when there's a life-changing word on the online church? In other words, forget those things which are behind. Forget those things that your mama taught you, your daddy taught you that uh, Reverend Joe taught you, those things didn't work, but go where Jesus is. The Bible says where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I want to be where there is liberty. Uh, okay, so the bishops may not approve of the online church. Okay, so the pastors may not approve of it. But ladies and gentlemen, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. Justina, I know you can, you can testify about that. The proof is in the pudding. The proof is where the word of God is, there is liberty. And I would rather be, I would rather be in a place of liberty and see people set free than to see people struggling, not being able to make it, still stuck on stupid, still stuck on the traditional ways. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to be what Philippians 3, 11, 13 to 14 says. You have not apprehended, you've not arrived, you've got a long way to go, but in order to get to where you're going, some of you got to shake off some of that dumb stuff. Some of you got to shake off some of that uh, uh, stuff that's not working. Some of us have to shake off some of that churchy stuff. Some of us have to shake, shake off some of that stuff that the preacher's been preaching that ain't working. Ladies and gentlemen, everything coming from the pulpit is not of God. I repeat. Everything coming from the pulpit is not of God. And so my appeal to you and to your friends and to your family as we enter into 2019 is that we must confess to God, <clears throat> God, I have not yet arrived. I have not made it. I have not reached that place. I have not yet arrived. But this one thing I do, God, I'm going to forget those things which are behind. I'm going to forget all those negative things that held me back in 2018. I'm going to forget all those churchy things, all that church work, all that busy work that didn't uh, amount to diddly squat. I'm going to forget all that religious stuff that doesn't make any sense, all those meetings that don't make any sense. I'm going to forget all those things, and I'm going to stretch myself. I'm going to stretch myself. I'm going to stretch myself for what lies ahead. God, I know you have something more for me, and I'm going to stretch myself for it. This is, this is what people need to do. Some of you are on now. You've been on the online church most of this year. Some of you come and go, and some of you, I believe, are coming to the place where you're realizing, hey, there's something about this church. There's something about the online church. God is moving in the online church. God is dealing, moving mightily. God is performing miracles. God is healing people through the online church. And, 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 and some people who keep going back to those dead places, those dead places, you're realizing, I'm just going through my emotions, going back to these dead places. And so every one of us has to reach a place where we say, I'm going to stretch myself. I'm going to press on towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. The prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus just might be in the online church. Some of you have been sitting up in brick and mortar churches for 30 years, 40 years. You've been watching people fight each other, uh, uh, watching people uh, abuse one another. You've been watching them uh, suppress the Holy Ghost, talk about the preachers, uh, suppress the word of God. You've been doing this, but you keep on going. Some of you are, are in, in such a situation where you're, you're bound up by what people think. And, and, and there are people who do not attend the online church because they want to please people in the mainline church. Ladies and gentlemen, I made up my mind a few days ago. 
I am not going to try to please anybody anymore in this life. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm, going, I'm, going, I'm going online. I'm saying this. I'm going to say this. I'm saying this. I am not going to try to please anybody anymore in this life. In this life. I'm going to please Jesus. I can't. God told me who the people I can't even please. People you're trying to please, you can't please them. Nothing will please that person. Nothing will please those people. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going, hey, Dustina, Robert Peary, Abel Carr, Terry, West, I'm going online. I ain't going to try to please people anymore. I'm going to do what thus saith the Lord, and if people don't like it, that's on them. I'm going to please the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the decision that I had to come to just a few days ago. Maybe that's why the, the devil hit me with this flu, this attack on my body. But you know, devil, you can take this sickness and lump it. You can take it and shove it because uh, it is not going to take me under. The Bible says, but my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. The Bible says, I am the Lord that healeth thee. And so the the message today is, <clears throat> I feel like going on. I feel like going on. And because I feel like going on, there are some things I'm not taking with me on this journey. Listen, listen, and, and ladies and gentlemen, you've got to come to this decision also with the help of the Holy Spirit. There are people you've got to let go. There are people you've got to cut some of them loose. Some of those so-called friends, hey, I'm even talking about family members. There are family members. you got to let them go. Some of those preachers, some of those bishops, you got to let them go. They're not into the Holy Ghost. They don't want Jesus to move. They want to keep you under submission. They want to keep control over your life. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I made up my mind just a few days ago. I am not going to try to please anybody ever again in this life. I'm going to love you. I'm going to love you, but I'm not going to try to please you. God did not put me in this life to try to please you. God said, I'm to love you, and I, I'm to love everybody, but I will not spend another day, another moment, another hour trying to please certain people because certain people cannot be pleased. I feel like going on. I feel healed. I feel good. I feel good in my sanctified soul. I feel no weapon formed against me shall prosper because I've come to a, a, a quality decision. I feel like going on. I have not arrived yet. I've got a long way to go. You have not arrived yet. You've got a long way to go. But ladies and gentlemen, as we go, as we go, let us forget those things which are behind, those disappointments, those frustrations, those people whom we can't please. You've got to let them go. You've got to let some friends go. You've got to let family members go. You've got to let anybody go who does not want to follow Jesus. You've got to let them go. You can't force them to get saved. You pray for them. You love them. But you've got to let them go. I feel like going on. Hallelujah. Lord, set your people free in 2019. Set them free, Lord God. Help us to walk in love. Help us to love one another. Lord, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Lord, help us to uh, uh, be cognizant of the things we can change and the things we cannot change. Let us never hate. Let us never hate. Let us not join anyone who hates. Let us not join any hate groups, any, uh, 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 even in the political arena. Let us not uh, uh, get involved in hatred, but help us to walk in the love of Jesus Christ. And yes, Lord, we know that there are certain people we've got to let go. There are certain things we've got to let go. But God, I thank you. You said, you said, I'm coming that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. And so we thank you, Father, for the life you've given us. We thank you for all that you've done. Help us to press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Lord, you have a high calling for all of us. Let us not be weary in well-doing, but help us to press as you give Dustina, as you give others dreams and visions. Help us to hold on to those dreams and visions. 
Help us to present those dreams and visions to you. As you share your word, God, your word, your logos, your rhema word with us. Help us to present that word to you and show us how to do what you have called us to do. Let us not be afraid. Lord God, bless my friend Abel Carr in Cameroon. Let him not be afraid to do what thus saith the Lord. Let him not be afraid. Though the Cameroonians may hate him, show him your love. Though all the, the, the uh, denominations may hate him, show him your love. <clears throat> because there are brothers and sisters crying out in Cameroon to be taught in the word of God. There are preachers and pastors who want to be taught. And now, Lord, you're showing us the way. So help us to obey you in all things. And, Lord, most of all, help us all to realize that we can do nothing without you. We can't do anything without you, Lord. We need you, Holy Spirit. I praise you. Lord, fill us with your Holy Spirit as we say goodbye to 2018 and say hello to 2019. We trust you, Lord God, to guide us with your Spirit. And Lord, if there's anyone listening to this recording today or anyone on live who is not, who is not saved and they want to be saved, help them to receive the gift of salvation and eternal life by faith. You said, you said that if people will confess with their mouths the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in their heart that God raised them from the dead, God raised him from the dead, they will be saved. Help them to confess Jesus and, and, and receive him by faith, and they are considered saved by the Holy Spirit. Lord, I praise you, I bless you, and I honor you. Lord, you're wonderful. Continue to keep us, Lord God. Help us to walk in love. Help us to realize we have not apprehended. We have not yet arrived. But this one thing we do, help us to forget those things which are behind, all the disappointments, all the hurts, the sicknesses, the disappointments. Let us forget them and let us stretch for those things which are ahead and, and let us press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Don't let us settle for anything but your high calling, Lord. We praise you. We thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, let the church say amen. Let the church amen. say amen. Let the amen. church say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Praise God.